My name is uh, Stephen Anson. I'm the son of Martin Ansmacher. I'm first going to talk about my dad and his early life in the town of Laudershausen. On the opening picture slides there, it's a nice picture of um, my mum and my dad, which was taken in Germany in, in the 1930s. And the other picture was taken at Hillary and our wedding in Hull in 1974. As you'll see, um, my dad and mama are wearing very traditional German uh, costume, which was called Tracht, and it's the equivalent of Scottish Highland country clothing, etc. So my dad's born in southern Germany in Bavaria, and you'll see on the map there the town of Leuderhausen that's shown. That's where he's born. He goes to school in Ansbach. The family then moved to Landshut um, because of Nazi persecution and he gets arrested and sent to Dachau concentration camp and from there it manages to emigrate to Britain. This is the town of Leudershausen from an old drawing um, and you can see the, the family house listed right in the centre of the town, um, in the town square, very prestigious location, right beside the town hall. Opposite the, with the smaller arrow is the house of the family called Kissinger, whose grandson later became the Secretary of State of the United States of America in the time of the Nixon era. This is a little view of the town of Leudershausen. It's a small village, it's probably 3,000 people, so the equivalent of maybe Eaglesham would be in Scotland. And rather nice photograph of the town fountain in the, the centre, two little children at the front, and the, the family business of Ansbacher, uh, actually named Heinrich Ansbacher, in the back. Another view of the centre of the town where the local fire brigade are displaying their uh, firefighting team and equipment, again on the prestigious location right in the town centre. Leudershausen until the 1930s had a Jewish population of approximately 16 families. They were respectable citizens who were in business as textile merchants. As citizens, they were fully aware of their obligations as well as their entitlements. They participated actively in the ranks of the Voluntary Fire Brigade, the Athletics Union and the Football Club, the social functions organised by the Male Voice Choir and the Riflemen's Group. So Martin would have gone to a school like this in the town of Leudershausen. This classroom actually is available to look at today in the town museum and it's kind of similar to what you might see in the Scotland Street School Museum in Glasgow today. As you see Martin's there with the football with his mates enjoying swimming in the, the local town river. For a better education Martin's parents send him to the gymnasium school which was a, a, like a better quality high school where you studied um, Latin and Greek in the town of Ansbach and he used to go there by, partly by bicycle from the town of Lloyd's house into the railway station and then get the train to the school. However, the school days, which started off normally, became more and more anti-Semitic. And let me read to you uh, my dad's letter. In 1920, I entered the Humanistische Gymnasium in Ansbach for a higher education. The first two years there were all right to start with, but the mood became more and more anti-Semitic. And by 1922, we four Jewish pupils in our class faced complete isolation. Nobody would sit next to us in our class or talk to us anymore. There we were also exposed to physical violence. The four student years, which should have been the happiest years in one's life growing up, became some of the worst years in my life and did not encourage me to go on for an academic career. <laughs>